today is March 20, 2020. So it makes it day 80 of our daily memory verse challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have my honorable husband right here giving me moral support. No moral. <laughs> All right. He just wants to be noticed, but he doesn't want you to see his face. Isai, Isai, we'll get there. So I'll share from. What is that? <laughs> Don't start saying that thing that will be overseas. <laughs> okay. They say Isai is like Indian on a tricycle. That is a being an old fortune. Now we win. All right, so, so today I'll share from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 18. It says, They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardness of their hearts. Remember yesterday, we are being encouraged not to be like the Gentiles who live their lives based on the futility of their thinking. You know, we don't live our lives based on our human understanding or reasoning. Rather, we live our lives based on the guideline ma mapped out for us by God in His Word and through Jesus Christ. So this verse that we just shared, that I just, you know, talked about emphasizes on four major things okay it talks about the darkening of the understanding and these are characteristics of gentiles people who do not know god who do not follow the ways of god we shouldn't be like that as christians okay one thing you see in these people is that their understanding is darkened their minds are polluted if you, are, if you don't give your life to God, the devil colonizes you. He colonizes your mind. And that's why when you live based on that understanding, you get lost. Okay? So the second thing is living a life that is separated from the life of Christ. When you separate yourself from the life of God, you don't... Your, 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 li your life is just parallel... Para uh, parallel to the life of God okay your ways are very different from the ways of God that's the second point and the third one is ignorance you know we've been talking about growth maturity and reaching yourself with the word of God if you don't do that you live a life of ignorance and then the last one being hardness of heart so these are the things that you see in the lives of Gentiles. Ah, so many distractions tonight. Anyway. So we shouldn't be like that So, okay? We should open our hearts to God and not harden our hearts to God. I have to leave this place. We should open our lives, our hearts to God and not harden our hearts. Okay? So that God will direct us in every areas and in every affairs of our lives so this is what i have for us today continue in your work with god live your life based on the guidelines that has been set in place for us by god and we can find that from the bible when we read the bible we meditate on it and we practice what it says Okay, look at the life of Jesus. We have other people, other people in the body of Christ who have gone ahead of us. God used them to bring his words to us. And even the type of lives they lead, we can learn from that. But most importantly, the life of Christ, his teachings. Those are things we should abide by and follow through. We should not live our lives based on our own understanding imagination or reasoning or what our mind tells us but we should live our mind our lives based on the principles set in place for us by god in his word 
So my challenge to you remains to memorize at least one verse. At least one verse every day of your life. That's my challenge to you. And may God continue to lift you up in all areas of your life. God bless you. Have a lovely night. Bye.